second stanza. They. Who wrote they? Cecil Spring Rice. I am busy, said the rain. When I fall, it's not in vain. Wait and you will see the grain. I am busy, said the rain. So let's see the new vocab. What is the meaning of vain here? Without use. Without use. Grain. What the meaning of grain? Grain means seeds. So let's paraphrase this stanza. What is the meaning of paraphrase? We said before means explain. So this is the explanation of the stanza. So as we said before that Cecil Spring Rice like or loves the beauty of nature. So he talked about the sea on the first stanza and now in the second stanza he's going to talk about the rain. So what did he say? I'm busy said the rain. When I fall it's not in vain. So the boat the boat here talks about the rain and the important work it does and the the job it does. The rain it doesn't fall uselessly. It falls to help our food grow in our fields. So the rain falls to help our food grow in the fields. Because the rain, when the rain falls, it water the plants in the farms, in the fields. So what do we have here in figures of speech? I'm busy, said the rain. So here personification. He compared the rain to a person who is busy and who is talking. And then we have the rhyme scheme. We said the rhyme scheme means the repetition of the ending sound. On the first stanza, we said this is A, A, A. But here, rain, vein, grain, rain. So we'll call the rhyme scheme B, 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 B. So here, he talked about the rain and the important work it does, that it doesn't fall without any use, but because it falls just to water the plants in our fields. This is the second stanza.